In this video we will be moving from our original level generation system that was based on images to the new tile map system that Unity added in Unity 2017.2. As you can see we will be able to draw our map live here in the Unity editor and this is actually a custom water tile I'm using here. So I'm not going to show you how to create this custom water tile in this video and I'm not going to show you how everything works with the new tile map system in this video because I already have a video that is one hour long that explains all these things in details so we will simply take the things from that video and port it into this project here just to make it work with the tile map so if you haven't watched it already I recommend that you go to the video link in the description below and watch that video and then download the assets that comes with that video because the assets also contain some things that we are going to use in this video if you have the RPG assets, I would like you to re-download them. If you re-download, you'll get two new folders. One folder with all the water sprites that we need, and another folder with a custom tile, which we will also be implementing. So we will be adding a custom tile from the other project, and we will also be adding some new water tiles, or replacing our current water tiles, actually. So if you haven't bought the project in any way, you can simply just go to the link in the description below. Um, and get the water tile asset for free because in the video here where I am explaining how all the tile sets works you can just click the link right there and you will be brought to sales and here you can see it's pay what you want so you can just put zero dollars if you want for free and then get now and you'll get the water tiles the grass tiles and the sand tiles and you will also be getting the full project for the actual a tutorial that I just linked to right here and that project also contains the files here we need the water tile and all the images here so with that in place we can start implementing all these things in our current project so right now when we start our game it will generate a map for us with some water and some trees and stuff like that well there's some things we need to remove for example the level manager shouldn't generate our map for us anymore so I would like you to open up the managers um, right here in the scene and select the level manager and simply just disable it because we don't need it right now or we don't need it anymore actually. Maybe it's going to do some other things for us later so that's why I'm not deleting the script or deleting it right now. But for now just go and untick this level manager thing. So now we need to implement some new things. First of all we need our water tiles. So we have this new folder called water tiles adjusted and I would actually like to go to my water tiles folder here and basically I don't need any of this right now anymore so I'm going to select all of them and simply delete them and then I'm going to take the new folder here water tiles adjusted and select all of them and copy them into unity so that they are replacing all the old tiles so the reason that we're using these tiles instead is because I have rearranged the numbers and everything to fit with the new algorithm or the new setup that we're using. And we also have way more tiles. As you can see, we don't have extra, um, or we have some extra tiles here for all the edges. Before we were, we were instantiating an object on top of the other, uh, other sprites just to make sure we get the right edges. If you remember that from the last video, um, right now we are going to instantiate the correct sprite without an extra object on it so that's why we have some extra sprites here with um, the edges as you can see there are lots of different types of these as you can see here is one for two bottom edges that's one thing um, so another thing we need to do is to open scripts folder and in here I would like you to create a new folder and call it um, tile scripts so if you re-download the files or if you download the files from the other video you will see that there is something called a water tile.cs and that file should go into the tile script here right there so the water tile.cs should make us able to generate our water on on the map so it has all the functionality that we need to generate our water so if you downloaded it from the other project, you might not have this line of code here. If you open up the water tile, you'll see that you might not have the startup function that calls the base startup function on the water tile. So if you don't have that, I would need you to write this code right here that I have highlighted inside the water tile script. 
this will make sure that we can create colliders on the actual water type on the water so that the player can't walk into the water if we don't have this code here the player is not going to uh, we're not going to be able to generate a collider on the water so this makes sure that the tile map will generate a collider for us so I, I left that out in the last video because I didn't have anything to walk out or in the other tutorial uh, about the tile map I left it out because I didn't have any character walk around so there's no point in making any collision here so this needs to be added so with that save we jump back to unity now we can start generating our tiles so first of all we need to go to window and we need to select our um, tile palette and again I'm not going to go into details but I'm just gonna tell you the general things if you have watched the other video you will know that the tile palette is used when we need to draw something on a tile map in our game so I need to create a new palette and I'm going to call this one tiles and then I'm simply going to click click create when you do that it opens up a new window and here you have to uh, save your new asset here somewhere and I am going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it palettes if I can spell like that and open up that and select that folder so inside palettes we now have our tiles palette so I'm not sure if we're going to create other palettes I just want it in one folder just to make it less messy here so the first thing we have to do is generate our grass so let's open up our sprites and find our environment and the grass right earth and grass I'm just going to use grass free so I can put it in here and it wants to generate a new asset here and again I would like it to be in order so I'm going to create a new folder right here outside in my asset folder called um, palette or let's call it tile asset tile assets select that one and save it in there so as you can see right now the tile is not placed correctly in our grid it's placed right in the center of some of the tiles and that's because when we were generating our own grid before we set the pivot point to bottom left right now we don't want that we want it to be centered and click apply and if you go back now it's actually placed inside the grid now so select all your tiles here and go to inspector and make sure the pivot point is set to center and click apply so that's for all the tiles um, besides that we also need to add the sand to this palette here and we're going to put it inside the same uh, folder as we did before with tile assets there we go so now that we have our tiles the two of them at least we will have to generate some grid we can draw on so go to create and select 2d and select tile map so the tile map has a grid and this is our general tile map so we can just rename it to ground because we're going to have a tile map for trees and one for water and one for ground because we can put colliders on them and we don't want colliders on the ground we only want colliders on um, the actual uh, water so that's why we need to create different um, layers here so if I select this I can say well tile map here I can say I will focus on the tile map that I'm already using and right now you can see I can't see the grid out here well if I go to gizmos and say show grid if it's not selected already I can see the grid you might have noticed the tile here is larger than the actual grid and it's not drawing correctly right here it's overlapping each other that's because I need to select my grid go to the inspector and set the, set the cell size here to a value I've written down here 1.3 so say 1.3 and 1.3 so if this size doesn't fit with yours it's because you're using tiles in another size or you have another pixels per unit set for the tiles so you can simply just take and drag this one and make it fit whatever you you, you think is best so the easiest way to draw the whole map is to select the palette and then select the like giant square here and then we can zoom out and just select an area we would like to cover with this kind of tile and we're just going to cover this and right now you can see we can only see the tile map up there we can't see the player um, and that's because we are focusing on the tile map if we say none we can see the player suddenly and see how large he is compared to the map you can make this map the exact same exact size you want it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna focus on the tile map to make it easier and with that done we can select the 
um, what is called sand and select the pencil and then just uh, draw some sand here on the map so that we have some different path here we can walk around on so you'll see if we play the game we simply just have our normal tile map we just generated before so now comes the more tricky part where we need to generate our water so basically we have our uh, scripts and inside the script we have this tile script called water tile in general we need to generate an asset based on this and there is some code in here in the water tile which I explained in the other video that will make it possible for us to generate an asset so because of this code here I can go to unity go to assets select create and go all the way down to tiles and select water tile and this will generate a new tile asset for me so I can just go to the tile asset here folder and I am simply going to call this one water tile so now inside my tile asset folder if I can find it um, there there is this new asset I just created if you select it and select the inspector you'll see there's a few things we need to set up first of all we need to set a standard sprite um, we can select the little radio button here and you can pick any water tile you want and there's also a preview here you can also select that and select zero I, uh, to be honest I can't remember if it's this sprite or this one down here that will make it possible for us to see the sprite on uh, the actual tile palette in here um, I just know it's one of them so just set them both um, yes instance game object we don't need an extra game object right now uh, an instance game object is what if I click the sand tile here and place it uh, somewhere in the in the game world I can also make sure that it instantiates an extra game object with some different scripts and stuff on it um, but we don't need that for the water we will need that for our trees later so another thing we need to set all the sprites I learned a very nifty trick by a couple of people that wrote something in the comment section on the other video and they told me that you can actually instead of saying size 25 or 20 or whatever and take one of them one by one like this you can actually just leave it as it is and select the lock up here then you just go to all the sprites you have and I can't believe I didn't know this before I've used Unity since I don't know forever and if you hold down shift you can select all of them and then you simply just take them and drag them onto the actual array up here called water sprites and let go and then it fills it in for you so that's pretty handy I think I could have saved lots of hours actually doing random stuff like this dragging one by one so now we have it all put in here with that done we can go to the tile palette and we can find our um, water tile asset and drag it onto the palette right there so now you can see the water asset is actually in the tile palette and as I said there's lots of code here that will make all this work and it's all explained in the previous in the other video so with that done we can select our water in the grid here we right click and say um, 2d and select the tile map and rename the new tile map to water and with that done we can select the new tile as you see here inside the tile palette it, it tells you what tile map you're drawing on at the moment and right now I'm drawing on ground I will need to select water and you can see the other one grays out select my water make sure it's selected there and then I can start drawing some water here in the game so now you can actually draw your water around in, in your world as you wanted and this is pretty fun to do and there yeah so now we have water and we have normal uh, tiles in the game based on the new tile map system so I'm going to end this video here um, in the next video I am going to add the trees to the tile map system I'm not going to do it in this video because I think it's a little longer process we have to create our own tile and everything thanks for watching my video please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return